Hey guys, in this video, I'll be covering the best ways to level up combat in Hypixel Skyblock. But before this video starts, if you want similar videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And now let's get right into the video. The first thing I'll be talking about in this video is how to increase your combat wisdom. So let's start off with pets. There's only three real pets that grant any substantial combat wisdom, and those three pets are the Grandma Wolf, the Enderman Pet, and the Wolf Pet. So let's start with the Wolf Pet. This pet grants 30 combat wisdom to any mob, and with a price of around 8 million coins, level 100, this pet is by far the best pet to use for all XP grinding besides against Endermen. And the reason for this is the Mythic Enderman pet is actually better, because the Mythic Enderman pet at level 100 gives 50 combat wisdom, but this only applies to Endermen. Now let's talk about the Grandma Wolf pet. This pet works off combos, and just because most people know about this pet, I won't go super in depth into it. But basically, if this pet is legendary, it can provide an extra 15 combat wisdom while not having to be equipped. And now that we're finally done covering how to increase your combat wisdom using pets, let's move on to how to increase your combat wisdom with other items. So let's start with the booster cookie. At the price of around 8 million coins, this item is only really affordable to anyone middle to late game. This item will last 4 days and provide a lot of bonuses, such as 15 magic find, but the actual huge bonus is the extra 25 combat wisdom. This item will also give bits every 30 minutes that you can use to buy a lot of different items. One of those items you can buy with bits is a god potion. This costs around 1.5 million coins on the AH, but it does provide an extra 35 combat combat wisdom. And now with the most recent update, you finally don't need to have a booster cookie active to use a god potion. Because before this update, if you died with a god potion active and you didn't have a booster cookie applied, the effects of the god potion would disappear. And finally, the last way to gain combat wisdom is through the dragon essence shop at the end. For the price of 6,500 Dragon Essence, or around 14 million coins, you can buy yourself 7 extra combat wisdom while on the end island. I do not recommend buying this upgrade unless you're middle to late game with excess money, but you can also go with the cheaper upgrade option. This will give you 3 extra combat wisdom while on the end island for only a price of 100 Dragon Essence or around 200,000 coins. Now that we're finally done covering all of the main ways to increase your combat wisdom, now let's move on to all of the combat XP grinding methods. So for the first XP grinding method, we have Ice Walkers. As you probably know, this method only really applies for early game players, those usually below combat 12. But this method can still apply to anyone just because of how profitable it is. For every Ice Walker you kill, you get between 50 and 80 combat XP on average. And in addition to this massive amount of XP they provide, you also earn on average 4,000 coins every single kill. This is because of the 1% chance of Ice Walkers dropping their armor and the half percent chance of them dropping a Glaciate Jewel. Also, I have to just mention this even though most people know this tip. Whenever you're killing Ice Walkers, use a pickaxe. No matter if it's a wooden pickaxe or a pick nimbus a pickaxe will always one-shot an Ice Walker. And now that we're finally done covering Ice Walkers, let's move on to the second method, and that is Revenant Slayer. There is a few reasons why Revenant Slayer is one of the best combat XP methods. One reason is the basic Crypt Ghouls. These mobs that you slay to spawn the Revenant Slayer, they provide around 70 combat XP per kill. But the bigger reason why this method is so good is because of the mini bosses and the main boss. Depending on the tier of the Revenant, these mini bosses can provide loads of combat XP. But besides the amount of XP this provides, Revenant Slayer is something every player needs to do anyways. It might be one of the most expensive methods on this list, but if you can get very lucky and get a few good drops, you might make some money out of it. And also the barrier of entry is very low. All you need to do to eliminate even a tier 4 revenant is a cheap setup of shadow assassin and a livid dagger. And now for the third combat xp grinding method, we have to travel all the way into the end. This method is zealot grinding. Zealot grinding is by far one of the most profitable methods on this list even though it is not the best method for XP. For zealot grinding, there's two different types of zealots that you can eliminate. And now let's firstly talk about the regular zealots. A regular zealot with 13,000 health has a 1 in 420 chance of dropping a summoning eye. This item is worth around 800,000 coins. By the way, the chance of the summoning eye being dropped is not affected by magic find. The regular zealots can provide around 70 combat XP per kill. And now let's move on to the second type of zealot, and this is the zealot bruiser. The zealot bruiser gives almost double the amount of XP, but it will have 4 times the health. And unfortunately, the chance of a summoning eye being dropped is only increased from 1 out of 420 to 1 out of 380 kills. This method is one of the earliest methods on this list just because of how much money it makes, but it can still easily be utilized by middle to later game players. This method can also make up to 
to around 10 million coins per hour. And now that we're finally done covering the third combat XP grinding method on this list, I will now have to cover the most well-known method, and that is bestiary. There's many bestiary guides on YouTube, but I will quickly go over how bestiary works. Every time you slay a certain amount of any mob, you will gain a bestiary level. And for every 50 bestiary levels, you will gain a certain amount of combat XP. The amount of combat XP scales with your current bestiary level. For example, on my profile, I'm only bestiary level 62. And if I leveled up 23 more bestiary levels, I would gain a free 200,000 combat XP. Bestiary is not only good for leveling up combat, it is also super good for leveling up your pets. The most amount of XP you can gain per 50 bestiary levels is 1 million combat XP. This method is one of the best combat XP methods in the game right now, but if you are late game, it might be pretty hard to level up your bestiary anymore. Now let's move on to the Void Gloom Slayer. This method is super good for two main reasons. Firstly, tier 3 Void Gloom mini bosses give a ton of XP, and with a 11,000 combat requirement to spawn each tier 3, you will be gaining a lot of XP per Void Gloom done. The second main reason why this method is super good is because of how much money you can gain. There's also a lot of items and collections that you unlock. The main way you can spawn each boss is through Zealot Bruisers, which as I have previously mentioned, Zealot Bruisers give a lot of money and XP. The biggest issue with this method is the amount of money that you will need for a good enough setup to be able to do at least a tier 3 Void Gloom. You will need a fairly good Final Destination setup with a Vorpool or even an Atom Split Katana. You will also need a good Enderman pet with a lot of healing items. This setup may cost over 100 million coins, so this method is definitely not for everyone. And now let's finally move on to the 5th and final combat XP grinding method, and this is Dungeons. More specifically, Floor 6 Frag Runs. Firstly, Dungeons alone are super good way of gaining combat XP and money, because mobs in themselves will drop a ton of XP per kill. Especially Especially if you're a mage or an archer that's able to clear very quickly. Dungeons are a lot better than most methods on this list, mainly because they are a lot more fun and you can easily make a lot of money by doing so. But now let's talk about the Floor 6 Frag Runs. Let's just break down the numbers really quickly. Firstly, there's two stages of 16 terracottas that drop around 400 XP per kill. And next, there's six sleeping giants that drop 4000 XP per kill. They also drop Ancient Roses, which are around 300,000 coins right now. And lastly, there's 4 giants that drop around 4,000 XP per kill. And if you added up all of that XP, you can gain around 30,000 XP each time you do a Floor 6 Frag Run. With the large amount of XP gained per F6 run, and the insane amount of profit, Floor 6 runs might be the best method on this list for gaining combat XP. But for this method, if you only care about the XP, just do frag runs. And if you care about the money as well, just do regular Floor 6 runs. And now this video is going to be coming to a close. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.